This is the solution to written homework 012. Okay. So, here's some parentheses. Those parentheses must occur first, and then that means we can ignore everything outside of them. Uh, and then inside of those parentheses, more parentheses. And then there's only one arithmetic operation in there, that subtraction. So that's the one we're going to do. So this would be 24 multiplied by 3 times 5 minus, now that'd be negative 6 uh, squared. Divide by 3 plus 4 cubed. Okay. So again, parentheses, so whatever we do has to occur in there first. And then these aren't parentheses in the order of operations sense. Rather, what they do is they make sure that we interpret this as a negative 6. So now we have three arithmetic operations to choose from. This is a multiply, this is a subtract, and this one is an exponent. And of all those choices, the exponent is what must come first. So this is 24 multiplied by 3 times 5, and then minus 36, divide by 3, plus 4 cubed. So again, we still have these parentheses. And we're taking one operation at a time. So this is a multiply, and this one is a subtract. Between those two, multiplication comes first. So this is 24 multiplied by 15 minus 36. Divide by 3 plus 4 cubed. Okay, again, just copying it. So that's 24 multiplied by 15 minus 36. Uh, divide by 3 plus 4 cubed. So these parentheses must occur first, all the stuff in there. And then there's just one arithmetic operation in there, so that's the one we'll do. So that's 24 multiplied by, well, 15 minus 36 is negative 21. Divide by 3 plus 4 cubed. Okay, now, now these parentheses aren't parentheses anymore in the sense of the order of operations. Rather, they help us understand that that's uh, not a subtraction, that's a negation. So now, the operations are uh, this multiply, this divide, this add, and this exponent. So I'll put a star next to the one that always occurs first. So, so this is the one we had to choose when that was the case. This is the one we had to choose. Here, now that we have to break a tie, this is the one that we have to choose because um, exponents occur first. So we have 24 multiplied by 
negative 21 divide by 3 plus 4 cubed is 64 so this is a multiply this is a divide this is an add so now multiply and divide are tied and the way that you break the tie is you choose the one furthest to the left so we'll choose this one so 24 multiplied by negative 21 that is negative 504 and then divide by 3 and then add 64 now there's two choices we have this divide and this add between those two division is higher precedence so it comes first <coughs> so negative 500 504 divided by 3 that would be negative 168 and then add 64 so uh, there's only one arithmetic operation so that's the one that we do so that would be negative 104 okay so for part B okay Part B, uh, again, we have a divide, we have a multiply, and we have an add. Now, divide and multiply are tied. Divide and multiply are tied, so the way that you break the tie, the tie breaker is whichever is furthest to the left. So we're going to do that divide first. So 60 divided by 12 is 5, and then multiply by 2, add 8. So this is a multiply, and this is an add. The multiply is the one that has higher precedence, so that's the one we do. So this is uh, 10, add 8. And there's only one operation to do, so that's the one we'll do, and the answer is 18. And to remind you, the way all of this worked, is that this is the order of operations. Parentheses always occur first. When there are no parentheses, exponents always occur first. When there's no parentheses or exponents, multiplies and divides all occur first uh, and these occur left to right and then if there's no parentheses no exponents no multiplies or divides then the adds and subtracts work uh, are carried out next and these again are ties are broken left to right